everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Album. I want to show you this mini album. I call it a mini album, but it's not that mini. Um, I made it from this collection called Fabulous, and it's from Authentique. Uh, it's seven and a half by just about nine and a quarter, and three inches tall. Now, I've done another mini album like this using... Uh, what's cooking collection from country craft creations, but I wanted to show you a different use for the same tutorial that I've done um, But not having it cooking related just um, Just a different kind of mini album. So uh, the cover I just used to cut apart uh, Just put uh, some of the paper across there was this little love it sticker and this gal was from the um, just one of the, the papers, so I thought she was pretty cute. So inside, it had this, obviously, a retro feel. Um, this great sort of newspapery kind of uh, look to it. I put some of the paper here and then some here. Obviously, you can see those were matching papers. This was a cut apart, and this opens up like that. So good room to put photographs or journaling or whatever. And don't you love those gorgeous glasses? Isn't that fun? So anyhow, that is held together with a magnet. And then inside I've got, and I played around with these different sizes. The tutorial shows you this size um, flap. Um, so this is a, a, an acrylic window. So if you have... Uh, photographs or loose paper or whatever, you can just stick it. Oops. Oh, I put that in there just because it was a leftover piece of paper and it sort of matched. So anyhow, you can put it inside these flaps and you don't have to adhere it or do anything if you have odd sized photos or newspaper clippings or documents or cert certificates. You can put them inside these flaps. And again, these are held together with a couple of magnets. In, in this case, I used a magnet here and here. Um, you could just use one in the center. Um, but anyhow, so it's, you know, just a nice way of adding in all of that uh, ephemera that you might have lying around. And then this page is a stacked pocket. All right, so first of all, we have to look at this paper because it is these gals on these scooters, and it is just adorable. See, look. She's got a little poodle on her thing. It's just adorable. So, anyhow, that goes there. And a couple of um, cut aports in these pockets. But if you had photos, you could just stick them in the pockets. You don't have to put them on any paper or anything like that. Or, again, certificates or documents or whatever. Now, I had in my stash these... Um, acetate divided sheets they were called refill pages and i guess um they were for an album in uh, you know if you had a a photo album that you put in a, a binder you could use these pages it looks like this but i wanted to experiment with this um to see if i could use it for a recipe book so it worked really well. You can put four by six photos or four by six recipe cards in these. So here I just put some of the gorgeous paper inside. And again, you can put a photo in there. This is held together with some brads. Aren't these pink brads adorable? Um, and I made it so it is open. Let me show you over here. So you could adhere this if you wanted to but it sort of protects the brads from catching on anything. Um, and you can, I left it open so I could add more of these pages to it. This just has one page, but I could easily put six pages in here and think of that, how many photos you could get in there. So um, it made the hinge a little interesting. That's all I'll say. Look at the tutorial <laughs> and you can, you'll see what I mean. Um, these are little pockets. So again, you could put four by six photos and or recipe cards in those pockets. 
And this page has, this opens like that, and that'll open like that. Isn't this a great quote from Grace Kelly? So again, you could put a photo right here, and a 4x6 photo would still fit here, but you could trim it down if you wanted to. And this is room for, right here, room for uh, journaling. So there's a magnet here keeping that closed. You could put photos here too. No reason why you can't. Um, you know, you could put a photo right there. So here is another one of those refill pages, the acetate pages to put in photos, recipes, whatever. And I use those adorable pink brads. I've had them in my stash forever. I was so happy to find a use for them. Another one of the pocket pages and more of those acetate folders to put in your photographs or ephemeral or whatever you have. Um, the, the other fun thing about this mini album or recipe book, whatever you want to use it for, is I've repeated a lot of the elements. It really only has four kinds of pages. Um, it's got this page with the flap. The back pocket has, or the back page has a pocket, of course. But it's also got these acetate folder pages. It's got the stacked pocket. It's got these refill pages. And then it's got this one that's really similar it's got this one open pocket and then these flaps um, so if you just wanted to make uh, a book with these in it, it it would be very simple just repeat that process or just the pockets again repeat the process so um oh let me show you the back it's pretty paper whoops that doesn't go on there it's pretty paper, but it um, it's not recipe. It's retro, and I enjoyed cutting some of these shapes and just matching all this paper. It really is fabulous. So anyhow, this is the Good Stuff mini album and or recipe book. I'll put the tutorial listed below if you wanted to make something like that. Simple, quick, easy. And good to give to somebody who, who's not familiar with mini albums, per se. They can just put the pictures in and be done with it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Good Stuff mini album. Have a fabulous day.